we are to the north. Forget about this. This is from the 40s to the 70s of the first century. Okay. Do you see a gate to the north? Uh -huh. This is the Damascus Gate, named after the destination. Damascus is to the north. It's okay. The jet lag is picking up yes. with you. Yes. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about this. Feel free. In any case, the northern gate, the Damascus Gate. And right by it, look over here like a half moon circle or semicircle of rocks. Now, friends. I do not know, and I do not have any. Pro and I, I, I am not asking who has a Catholic background or non-Catholic background. But the, well, the Catholics certainly, and the Armenians and the Greek Orthodox will know that the Church of the Holy Sepulcher from the third century is the place of crucifixion. A new idea started at the end or beginning of the 19th century by a British general known from history books as Warden of Khartoum. The British were fighting in the Sudan and their general Gordon was involved in that. Coming over here to Jerusalem in those days on his vacation, he was sitting on the wall. In front of him there is nothing but nature and he looks at the cliff half seems to him all of a sudden it looks to him there are two dark caves in the rock that look to him all of a sudden like sockets in his skull and what is Golgotha from Aramaic from Hebrew the place, place of, of the, the skull. skull he says Eureka I found it this is the real place those two caves must have been what seemed to the people to be the Golgotha, there is like a symbol of the, of the skull. Eureka found it from there on a new garden has started over there known as the garden tomb. As the garden tomb. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's in the same place, it has the same ingredients like a gate close by, like, uh, like uh, a, a a place of presentation, a grave, and so on and so forth. It's a new, I won't say new story, the story is old, but new location. And from historic archaeological point of view, it has no validity. So they because don't they, know which place the place was No, we don't know where was the place of, of a burial and then resurrection. Um, because they claim over here and the burial site that we find here is from the first temple period which means much ahead of Jesus and it was told, we are told that it was a new grave so if it was a new grave and a archaeology tells us it's about 1000 years old or 600 years old by the time of Jesus it could not have been the one okay that's as simple as that but from Christian point of belief of belief it's no problem at all because whether it is here whether it is there the answer is the tomb is empty <laughs> that's something else and that's fine it's no, I have no problem I don't say it in a critical or in a negative way the fact that we are not sure we are not sure we are looking back and at things that apart from the written Bible or New Testament, you don't have much evidence. Okay, so archaeology <laughs> is slowly, slowly picking up the puzzle, pieces of the puzzle. But can we be absolutely sure? We cannot. We are happy that we find it corroborates and another piece and another piece. You're building a big uh, puzzle, you know.